بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی ہیو ناؤ بین آن آر جرنی آف انڈرسٹینڈنگ میڈیا دا رول آف میڈیا اٹس امپلیکیشنز اٹس کانسیکوینسز اٹس ڈفرنٹ کانوٹیشنز اینڈ اٹس ڈفرنٹ فریم ورکس آف انگیجمنٹ اینڈ ڈس انگیجمنٹ ان دا پریویس سیشن لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن وی بیسکلی ٹاک ایکسٹینسولی آن دا رول آف میڈیا ہاؤ اٹ ٹینس ٹو کریٹ اے بیلنس اینڈ ہارمونائز سوسائٹی ہاؤ اٹ انٹرفیسز Uh, as a very important element with the corporate sector and the government and society as a whole, how it has emerged as a fourth pillar uh, of equal significance or even more significance than the other pillars of judiciary, government and the parliament. And then it has also emerged as a friend. Uh, and we see that uh, media has played its role extensively in the past, uh, in the past 10, 12 decades, but its true significance has been seen in the past two years during the COVID pandemic. What we have seen is that it has played its role as a friend, as a philosopher, as a critic, and as a catalyst of society. Because of media, the whole world was able to get together and join resources and join knowledge and information, join data together to battle this, this devastating COVID-19 phenomena. And even though it seemed that things would spiral out of control, but it was through media and print media, electronic media, digital media, and social media. And all of these medias together, we were able to educate the masses on local, national, and global level, and make them aware of the importance of the various elements of COVID, of quarantine, of vaccination, of social distancing, of having masks and sanitizers, of ensuring that people sit at home and engage with media. And through that engagement, we see that a completely new paradigm has emerged in the corporate world because now we talk about uh, off-site, uh, uh, we talk about off-site engagement, uh, we talk about flex timings, uh, we talk about working from home, all of these new philosophies and these new uh, impediments and all of these new, uh, new opportunities have emerged through the engagement with media. So media has played its role for the bourgeois, for the aristocrats, Uh, for the proletariat, uh, for the destitute, for the marginalized, for the improvised, for the elite. So all segments of society and everyone has benefited through it and it has basically connected everyone. No matter who they are or what they are or where they are, everyone is now connected and it has shown uh, maturity that through that maturity, they have been able to, uh, to effectively battle against this global pandemic and save the world and move the world forward now with more possibilities and more opportunities. So that is the uh, role of media. So ladies and gentlemen, what we see is, is that media has become not only effective, I would say, I would say it's become extremely effective. And it is through media that we see that uh, very powerful players or very powerful stakeholders cannot take advantage of the disadvantage. cannot harass the weak, cannot exploit the, or manipulate the different segments of society because media acts as a safeguard and plays its role in a very, very positive way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, media basically has the capacity to reach a large audience of a relevant group or the whole world. And it has two characteristics, diffusion and credibility. So again, credibility is based upon uh, the news that they do. Is it, is it real news or is it fake news? Uh, if any media channel, no matter how popular they are, if it keeps on giving fake news, then it would just disappear and it would go into the books of history. But if they have credible news, if that news is genuine and real, then the credibility can enhance and also the viewership can also enhance. And then again, the diffusion is that uh, what is the level of dissemination? And that is extremely important. That uh, what is the audience? Is it a local audience? Is it a national audience? Uh, what type of national audience? Is it cross-gender? Uh, does it have inclusivity and diversity? Is it global? So all of these things are very important from a media point of view. And uh, the more news reaches the audience, it produces great, greater impact. So that is, is the philosophy that the viewership has to be expanded. And that is what we are seeing that now channels have print, have electronic, digital and social media just to ensure that they have uh, a wider audience all across. Uh, most importantly, like I was mentioning, the news uh, should be from a credible source. And therefore, it can create a buzz and can get a lot of traction. Effectiveness also depends on the magnitude 
of the reputation of punishment and that basically means that again what are the consequences uh, of those actions or of that news and they tend to have a lot of impact on uh, the, the dissemination and also the absorption of that particular news and then based upon that absorption and assimilation what are the results or uh, what is the reaction of the public at large or the institutions or the corporate sector or any other sector uh, that we may be talking about. And then the media basically acts as a bridge between the different sectors also and ensures that there is a balance, harmony and synchronization. Uh, what we have to see is that uh, when we are talking uh, about uh, how media interfaces then the violation by illicit companies in the country is something uh, very critical and that is what the media through investigative journalism is always trying to find out. A violation uh, to the stakeholders of the company is also very important to see that no stakeholder is exploited or no stakeholder tends to have hegemonic designs. And the actions of company stakeholder in response to the news. So again, uh, whatever news there is that how does the company and its stakeholders uh, react to that? That is very important. And then the effect of the stakeholder actions on the companies and that would be that whatever effect it has, then there would be certain influence and certain reaction and certain steps which are taken basically in light of uh, the news disseminated and then the response of the company and final outcome uh, based upon these different stages. So we see that there is a process which is followed uh, by, uh, by corporates and by the corporate sector to engage with media and it's very important to ensure that they do not get blackmailed or they do not get suffocated and very importantly provide, uh, provide authentic and genuine information to the media so that they can project it in the best possible way and that is extremely important and therefore we see that this effectiveness of the media can lead to uh, wonderful results and on the other hand if there is false news then it can be debilitating not only for the media organization but for society at large and all the stakeholders of corporate governance thank you so much